hello guys i'm andrew sadana and today i'm gonna teach you how to create an email account but before you create an email account there are a number of procedures to go about or rather a number of things to know before creating an email account so first you need to know your server i mean the provider of that email it might be gmail it might be yahoo it might be html it might be outlook and a lot of them there are so many guys but most common in our days today is gmail as well as outlook as well as html as well as yahoo those four are the basics and the most common everywhere but all in all wherever you go to create an email account the procedures are almost the same so now to begin with i will show you the simple steps on how to create an email account using gmail so simply you'll have to go to your browser Maybe this is my browser. For my case, I'm just using Google. So simply I'll type gmail.com. Okay. Then I'll click enter. Now from there, you see there are a number of suggestions. Then I'll have to click the link which will direct me to Gmail website. Okay. This one here. But now here, the problem is that I already have one account right here. Now to open a new account, I will simply come here and click gmail.com then sign up so sign up means creating another account okay you see the suggestion here gmail account sign up so on clicking that way then you'll come to create your google accounts then you'll open you wait for the link to be open then to open an account simply you'll have to start with the first name last name and the username at gmail.com so for instance here maybe i can start with my first name that is andrew okay my last name that is sadala okay username the email username the username which i need to use but guys there have been the problem here a lot of people do put the names which they normally forget in short period of time so make sure that you keep your information in a safe place or rather if you think that you can forget you better write and put your note somewhere because these email issues are more sensitive nowadays in a lot of applications you may find that they require an email now if you put the email which is not formal that much it might cost you to some extent now for instance here simply i can put sadala andrew okay but now for the case of email make sure that there are always there should be the small case of all letters i mean the starting with the small case and most of the emails do have a small case so make sure that all these letters are in small case so sadara andrew at gmail.com then i will have to put my password then i will have to confirm okay so the password here maybe here because I already have another Gmail account, so simply here maybe I can add one, two, three. Okay, now the password here is user choice. So for my case, I can maybe put a okay, now this is my password, so it depends on your own, but make sure that you remember your password for the future use. Okay, so I can design my password here maybe. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to design my password, the strong password, like that. Then I'll have to confirm it. Sorry. Like that. But here now you see, use eight or more characters with mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. Okay, maybe here as the sample. Okay, the sample password guys you should not use this password and so far this email account i'm creating just for the issue of the tutorial okay so for the tutorial issue i'm just creating this account okay but you should not copy this icon here guys is to show you whether to show password or not to show so here maybe i can create my password that is sadana then one two three okay then uh, on confirming that is the dollar then one two three and then next ok 
Okay, so I will have to put the phone number. After putting the phone number, then I will go on clicking next. So the rest of the procedures, guys, are the same and simply understood. Okay, so here there is. Okay, there's no problem, okay? But remember here, your personal information is private and safe. So the rest of the procedures are the same. When you put the phone number here, they will send you the six digits number to the phone number of yours. And after that, you will have to put those digits in the next window. Then you will have to, you will finish. And after that, you'll, you can upload your picture and the rest of the things can be done depending on the needs. So guys, those are the basics and the simple steps which you can do in creating an email. So I hope that it is clearly understood, but in case of anything, don't forget to drop your comment down there and we can see how to go about with your problem. You can also send me a screenshot if you find any difficulty, okay? Then from there, we can simply solve your problem and at the end you will have your email in a safe way so that's the best you can do with the email creation now guys here there is another thing i just want to tell you suppose you have already created your account okay maybe your gmail account now maybe i need let, let me try to sign out here in my account okay let me try to sign out in my account okay sign out like that now suppose i need to sign in to my gmail account i've already created my account now i need to sign in and i have forgotten my password so simply i love to try here okay let me try to remove this account here sorry this window is not supposed to be here okay this is the press of forgot password now in case you forgot your password you can simply click this way here now, on clicking this type here, forgot password, enter last password you remember using this Google account. Now, if you do not remember your password as well, you can try another way. Okay, now trying another way, this helps, I mean, this show, this helps show that this account is really belongs to you. Okay, now for this, they will have to send a verification code okay so you can choose here if you don't have your phone you can click here i don't have my phone okay there is another way okay you can enter another email address whereby by that email address of someone else you can receive the code and you can renew your account again but in case you want to sign in and you forgot your password you simply come to forgot password and after that you can try another way if you don't remember your last password and by writing your phone number right here they will simply text you with the digits or rather the numbers which you used in opening email account in the further steps there in opening email there are series of procedures on how to do and there will be the window of writing your phone number okay so with your mobile number they will simply send you the code and with that code you can simply write it here and click next step and then you'll have back your password or rather you can create a new password and you'll be through guys so it is very simple what i really encourage you is to make sure that you keep your information personal and safe thank you guys